big build is $80 billion worth of work. It has a voracious appetite for materials. And one way of fulfilling that appetite is to take what is a waste and turn it into a resource. From a problem, we're creating a solution. And the infrastructure industry is then doing its part in creating a circular economy. Using those waste resources in the big build is a way of, of finding a, a new home for them. The banning of recycled materials going, going offshore so that it's not just about landfill, there's actually stockpiles and this stuff now that are highly visible. And there was a, a bit of a push in the community to, to re use recycled material. And when, as that push got stronger and stronger, we started to look at what's the real problem in the community and trying to solve that as well as the noise wall problem. And the problem's really around soft films and milk bottles, the hard to use things. All of these projects build confidence. They build confidence in, in what could be possible and what is possible. And so it really demonstrates to um, Victorians that we can lead with Recycled First. Our goal is to uh, de-risk and allow um, the sector to innovate, um, to really build confidence in using recycled content in our infrastructure projects. There's an incredibly important role to demonstrate and role model to other parts of government like councils or community groups or the private sector that you can buy recycled first and it can deliver fantastic outcomes for the project that you're delivering and also for the community.